Hammer Recess. It's all about reactions today in Arm & Hammer Recess. This project is sure to have your kids begging to go outside because we're gonna be making blast off bottle rockets. One of the byproducts of today's chemical reaction is carbon dioxide gas. What happens is, as soon as the pressure becomes so great that it can't stay within the bottle anymore, it pushes the cork out of the bottom and the bottle rocket launches into the sky. This is actually really similar to how real rockets are launched into space. Let's go launch a rocket. Parents, we want to make sure that everyone stays safe and that you are supervising this entire process. For the first part of this project, we are going to make the rocket. For the second part, we will go outside and add the fuel to really launch it. Grab a two liter soda bottle, make sure it's clean and empty. Now we're going to duct tape three pencils to the bottle to make legs for our rocket. You have to tape the pencils to the top of the soda bottle because when you stand the rocket up, the top becomes the bottom. All right, let's grab our duct tape. You can either rip your duct tape or cut it. I like to start with one pencil and we're gonna position it so that it is about one to two inches past the top of the bottle. We're gonna be adding the, the pencils in a tripod formation. You are welcome to use four pencils as well. One tip I have is to loosely tape your pencils on so that you can make some adjustments to the height as you go. Now they're all at the same height, I'm gonna add one big layer of duct tape around the entire thing to make sure it's really secure. Now it's time to make our soda bottle look like a rocket. So parents, this is a time where you can either roll up your sleeves and help your child design this, or you can go watch the last 10 minutes of that show you fell asleep to last night. That's what I would do. I have made a couple of these already, so I'm just gonna keep this one simple and decorate it with duct tape. All right, our soda bottle is looking like a rocket, but it's not a rocket until we add the rocket fuel. Here's how we get ready for blast off. First, we're gonna add vinegar to our bottle and cork it. Then we're going to make a baking soda burrito out of a paper towel and baking soda. Finally, we are going to drop that packet into the bottle with the vinegar. Now what's gonna happen inside the bottle is a lot of gas is going to build up. And when the pressure reaches a certain point, it is going to basically push the cork out and launch our rocket into the sky. Parents, depending on the age of your kids, you may wanna launch this yourself. There is a very short window of time between putting the packet into the bottle, corking it, and then standing back. I want everyone to stay safe, so my suggestion is that parents or older kids do this step only. Let's add the vinegar. Turn your bottle upside down, grab a funnel, put it in the top. We will be adding two to three cups of vinegar. The more vinegar, the higher your rocket will launch. Make sure that you grab a cork that fits tightly into the top of the bottle. And our rocket is ready. Now let's make a baking soda packet. We're gonna start with a paper towel and cut it down a little bit because we need to make sure that our paper towel and baking soda packet actually fits in the top of the bottle when it's rolled up. Add two to three tablespoons of baking soda. You might wanna spread it out so it makes it easier to roll up. Now we're gonna roll it kind of like a burrito. I did this project at least two times before I had a successful launch. So there is a little bit of trial and error in this, but it is worth it. Like that. Now that we have our rockets and our fuel, we are ready to launch. Thank you.